Listen to how funky this bass line is. So this patch is surprisingly simple, but there's a lot of moving parts. Real quick, a uh, quick shout out to Yuck for letting me borrow this module. It's a Mutable Instruments uh, Marbles, but in the smaller U Marbles format done by Antumba or some, Antumbra, something like that. And this module is called Cara or Gara, I'm guessing face in Spanish. Either way, if that was too much to remember, I have a link down to it down below, as well as a link to Yuck's music, in case you're not familiar with Yuck. He's one of my favorite producers, so go please check his stuff out down below and get some more information on this module down below as well. After using this mini module, though, it really makes me want the full-size marbles, which doesn't on honestly doesn't offer much more other than an easier interface to use because it's bigger, so the knobs are bigger. Okay, so this patch, the secret sauce in this patch is scales. Even though Marbles is doing all the heavy lifting, the magic is in scales, and it's in the way that I have it specifically patched. Basically, it will not send a trigger out unless the pitch changes. And that's because I don't have the trigger of marbles going into the trigger of scales, because otherwise it's just changing pitches all around, like in weird timings, dependent on whatever marbles is sending out or wherever those triggers have been placed by marbles. And why this is important is because when I turn up slide on marbles, it sounds like a bass player kind of going up and down the neck of a bass guitar like a pro. I mean, listen to this. This is with the slide. Like all that stuff. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it's like doing its own thing, right? If I turn step up, Right, it's just kind of following the regular trigger. And if I put this back on the one, I have to reset it. Where is that? Oh, let me put the rate back here. Like for example there, now it's right on the money. Kind of boring, right? Whatever, but if we turn slide on. Yo. Okay, so there it was going a little too crazy. That's basically the spread. The spread on marbles is gonna dictate how far between like this octave and, or actually it's gonna dictate how many um, notes are within its range. So the more I turn spread up, the higher in notes and the lower in notes it's gonna go. And then the bias is saying stay more on the low notes versus the high notes. So with spread all the way up, and step all the way up. There's kind of a chance that it might hit high notes, especially if I turn bias up. But it's kind of like a coin toss of what note it's gonna hit. So I turn bias pretty much all the way down, spread almost all the way down, but this will just mean it's hitting the same note all the time, not sending out a trigger. So a little bit of spread. And now it's just kind of staying within one octave, right? But if we turn bias up a little bit, there it goes, jumps up another octave here and there. And of course this is being run into the quantizer and I know, I know, Marbles has a built-in quantizer, but I prefer using scales because I can just easily do this and change the scale up. I don't have to remember any kind of Street Fighter combo to go in there and pick a new scale, especially if it's specific notes that I want to play. Like say I just want to play three notes, I could do that. Just go like this, right? And if I wanted to add some more, easy. I don't have to go in and do anything crazy. So this is kind of how I originally had the patch. I had a trigger out of marbles running the Osiris wave table like this. It doesn't sound that much different, but you can kind of hear once in a while. Let me uh, hold on, stop this real quick. It's just, I don't know. 
I feel as if it's a lot it's a lot tighter when I'm using the actual trigger out of scales. And again, because I don't have anything patched into the trigger, if I don't have anything patched in there, it will send a trigger out only when the pitch has changed. And this gets really weird when there's some slide on here. Like that. Crazy. And if you want to get super funky, like what is going on, you turn the rate down and then turn the slide all the way up. And it just takes forever to go up and down the scale. Cyrus just coming in way too hot with this wavetable. Okay, pretty cool, right? Still doing his thing, thank you. We can take this further. We can get this even weirder. I have this in crazy tiny short patch cable that if I take Y, what Y is doing is basically there's trigger outs and then a bunch of CV outs, Y is kind of combo of everything and you can use this to self patch or I mean I can send this wherever you can patch this to whatever but if I take Y and send it to the rate now the bass player is like sticking to one tempo and then out of nowhere gets doubled or cut in half so listen to this so watch T2 I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Oh, now he's going a little slower. Right, let's turn the bias up. And turn steps dead center so there's no more slide. Another important thing, I got jitter turned up. Jitter is basically, you can think of um, like, they, I forget what they call it in the manual, it's like clock distortion or something like that. It's basically a swing. If I turn this dead on, right, it's really just right on the money. Especially if I unplug right. When we go just dead center. Watch, ba ba ba. If I turn jitter up, oh, that is neck breaking material. There's some rate in there. Ah, give it to me. Ah. Or another thing I can do, take this even further. We'll get rid of rate, because it gets a little too wild sometimes. But what I'm gonna do now will blow your mind. It's actually not that crazy. So scales has out A, out B, out B is normal to whatever out A is by default. So I can just take out B and run this to change wave Y. So I'm gonna play this right now without this. And if I just move wave Y, right? It, it moves around pretty cool, but if I take out B, it can do that for me. I don't need to just stay here. I can just do this and jam.
I mean, come on. Marbles, where have you been my whole life? How have I waited this long to come across your path? I could listen to this forever. So how, how would I use this in a song, right? What I end up doing is I'll just literally hit record as such. And just let this run. Right? So cool, whatever. I would do from here is take a loop, just as simple as that. Just say, okay, cool. I like this one random bar. Loop that, play that back. Or I just let it run for ages and I just play it, record a long, maybe 24 or 48, 50 bar, something just weird and off. That way I can copy paste that and across the entirety of a song, that's maybe four or five, five and a half minutes. It sounds like it's constantly changing because you can't recognize where the pattern began or ended. I've done that in a couple tracks before and it's always super money because it's just, not only is this kind of playing you, you then take a pattern, put it in there, and then the song's kind of playing itself, doing its weird thing, and it constantly surprises you as much as this will surprise you. So yeah, that's kind of this crazy patch I came across using marbles and scales, where scales is taking, in a way, randomized CV values, but not sending a trigger out until the pitch changes. This is so that it doesn't duplicate notes. That would happen sometimes with the mimetic, which is right there, um, or because it was only four notes, it was okay, but sometimes could get a little boring and you really had to work it. I mean, you've seen me work in that module for like, what, two years now or something crazy? But yo, marbles with a quantizer, even though it has a built-in quantizer, is crazy. And next thing I need to do, because I'm not really using these two modules anymore, because this has its own attenuator, and I don't need this because Osiris has its own decay. I can try and fit some multi effects in here, maybe the Milky Way or something else like that. But uh, yeah, hope you found this video helpful. If you did and you wanna support the channel, by all means, check out some merch here, but you kicking it is more than enough. And until next week, my friend, you already know the drill. Share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace, let's jam. <laughs>